Hello Thinkino family, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my super simple blueberry jam. You can make this out of any berry, but I'm choosing blueberry. If this is your first time, welcome, it's great having you. Consider subscribing down below and hitting that bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming content. Let's get cooking guys. Alright guys, so today I'm making blueberry jam, but you can use any berries that you want to for this. And what I do is I go ahead and I freeze my berries. Usually I stick them in the freezer the day before I want to make the jam. And when you freeze these, what happens is the water inside of them it freezes and expands and actually breaks all the little cells inside and makes it easier for you to break them down when you're cooking with them. So that's why I prefer to do that. You can do whatever you want to do. I got two cups of berries here. And the other two ingredients that we're going to be using is I got a teaspoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And I got two tablespoons of sweetener. My sweetener is granular monk fruit. You can use any sweetener you prefer, but that's my preferred sweetener. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to be putting these in the pan over medium heat for about 15 minutes or so. Let them cook and simmer. Go get that going. there's a few minutes to cook. Now I don't know about you guys but when I go to the store and I'm trying to find jam because my family likes you know peanut butter jelly sandwiches they like to have butter and jam on their bread in the morning but when I go looking for jam even though it says sugar free if you turn it over and look at the ingredients it'll have like sucralose or maltodextrin or something like that in it and it's just another form of sugar so it's always important to read the labels although the front says sugar free the manufacturers are tricky. They still put sugar in there, they just don't call it sugar. It's still in there. So read those. I think there's like some around 20 different names for sugar. It's absolutely insane. All right, we'll give that a few more minutes to cook and I'll be back with you, okay? Alright guys, so this finished cooking, it cooked for 15 minutes on the nose, and all I do is I take my potato masher and I just jelly mash this up a little bit. Not too much because I'm not trying to make jelly here. I'm not going to strain it or anything because I like the seeds in there. From my understanding together, they're a good source of fiber. So I just give this a quick little mashing and then I leave it. At this point, if you want to, you can add chia seeds to this. You can put two tablespoons of chia seeds in while you're waiting for it to cool down. I don't because my daughter doesn't like chia seeds in her. She says they stick in her teeth, which she has braces, so I completely understand. So I just leave out the chia seeds for now. All right, so we're going to let this sit here and cool for the next 15 to 30 minutes or so. And then we're back to finish up. Super quick and super easy, isn't it, guys? So one thing that I wanted to make sure I didn't forget to mention to you is if you're using any berries other than blueberries, I'm talking about raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, even that has those seeds in it that some people can find unpleasant, I know my family doesn't like the seeds. So what I do is after I cook it down, you know, I mash it up pretty gently with a um, potato masher, then I'll run it through my sifter. I'll put everything in the sifter. Then sometimes I'll take my pestle and then I just, you know, grind it through and all the jam comes out the bottom, but it keeps all the, the thicker, you know, the seeds and the skins and the chunks that you don't want to be eating down on in your jam. It's completely optional, but if you have a problem with seeds in your stuff, Definitely run through your sifter and I'll catch it all for you. I've done it before, it does work. All right, let's get on to the next step. All right, lovelies, this has cooled down and I'm good to put it in the jar. I just got these cute little jars. I don't know where I got them, maybe Big Lots? I'm not sure, but they are so adorable and perfect for this jam. And how quick and easy is it to make this jam and so inexpensive because the only thing you might really have to buy for this is the berries. Everything else you'll probably already have on hand. But I think start to finish, this should only take you maybe half an hour, maybe less. I mean, it's faster than running for the store to buy the actual jam itself. And you know exactly what's in it. You know, there's no sugar, no hidden sugar, or alternately named sugar. <laughs> yeah, they do try and hide it where they can. I don't understand it. You know? And that's all there is to it. So I'll go ahead and put a lid on it. We'll stick it in the fridge. And this jam, the last couple I've made, they were in the fridge for you know, two or three weeks and I had no problem with them going bad. Um, usually jam doesn't last that long in my house because there's very few other condiment options like this since I threw away everything else. Alright guys, hopefully this was helpful to you. I mean, 
a three ingredient and a half an hour jam, who can ask for more than that, right? If you know anyone else that can uh, utilize a good jam recipe, feel free to share this with them. Give me a thumbs up down below if you found it helpful. And until next time, bye guys.